Good morning. It's uh, five minutes to five. I'm going out to Assateague Island today, surf fishing. Kingfish are biting, bluefish are biting, hopefully the flounder. I gassed up. I got some bait last night, and I've got one thing left to do. I have to go get some ice, and then I'll be driving out onto the beach. Hopefully it should be a good day. The water temperature is 72, so uh, it's warm enough that the, the fish are out and they're active and hopefully biting. All right, see you soon. Yeah, that's pretty awesome. It's the rod setup, my little tiny short one. I got a uh, double drop with squid, cut squid bait. And then uh, that's an ugly stick with a pen wrath reel. Uh, that one has got another double drop, and then the pen on the far end, that's got a double drop too. The two big ones I'm using cut uh, mullet. So the mullet, the way that I like to look for them, or what I found successful, is their eyes. If you notice, their eyes are clear. They're not cloudy, they're not white. That means that they're really fresh. All right, stupid me, I didn't have the camera running. Uh, the middle one, the Shakespeare, I put some squid on it to try to switch it up. Uh, I cast out, and within two seconds, I got a nice uh, nine and a half king. So, good looking fish. All right, I'm gonna switch them all to squid and then we'll see what happens. I don't know if I said the model on this one, it's the Pen uh, Fierce 3. That's what it is, it's the combo rod. another uh, king should be oh, it came off right at the surf just lost one yeah the Shakespeare produced again uh, another good, good fish. All right, get a measurement on him. Get him right there. It's uh, almost twelve. what I do is once I cut it I'll cut through uh, this way and cut it into a strip and then I take the middle out the middle is a little little like plastic piece that's their cartilage and then just all the, the squishy junk in the middle I get rid of that then I take it and cut it one more time into little squares and I take little pieces when I hook them up what I'll try to do is uh, either hook them through twice preferably three times if I have enough room on the piece of squid with the surf the way it is, I don't want the surf ripping off all the bait. So I try to keep it on there as best I can. You also want, if the fish bite it, and they, you want them to come back to it. So, like this piece, this is perfect. It's big enough for three. So I go over, under, and then over again. So it's hooked up three times. Same thing with this one. I go over, then I go under, and then I'll go over again. And that's it. I believe we have. 
have one on here. Yep, he's jumping. What is that? I don't know if you saw it jump on the camera, but it definitely just jumped. Ah, uh, blue, good blue fish. and fish grips for him. I'm not messing with them. <laughs> if you're not familiar with bluefish, they have teeth and they bite and it hurts. Oh, I got something. Nice king. Good. In the box he goes. There it goes. It's a big king. Yes. This might be the biggest one. Oh, I'd get a measure on him. A little about a 12. Yep. Nice. Sorry, I had to cut the last one real quick. There's beach ninjas. They they comb the beaches looking to see what I'm using for bait and how I'm doing it. So I had to cut it real fast before they would see it. Okay, see. Alright, final fish counts. I got five. Time is uh, just about 8.30, so we're going to start packing it up, start heading back, and then get all the fish filleted up, and then we should be good.